Hello everybody, today I can create equations dealing with acute angles of right triangles using sine A equals cosine B and A plus B equals 90. So let's discover what we're talking about here. So let's say I have 3, 4, 5. I planted the seed for this lesson um, as in the very first Sokotoa lesson that we did in trigonometric ratios. We're going to come back to it now. So let's start by finding sine A. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So for A, the opposite would be 3. The hypotenuse would be 5. Now I want to find cosine of B. Well, cosine is A over H. So cosine of B would be 3, the adjacent side to that angle is 3, and the hypotenuse is 5. What do we notice about them? They're the same. Because when I change from one angle to the other, the opposite becomes the adjacent. And it will always be the case that sine A equals cosine B. Now, that's the shortcut for this rule. The long version of that what that means is that in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to the cosine of the other acute angle. So one of our rules that we're going to talk about today with the acute angles of a right triangle is sine A equals cosine B which means that in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to cosine of the other. There's one other thing we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the angles themselves. Well, I know that the angles of a triangle have to add to 180. And since this angle is 90, doesn't that mean that angle A and angle B have to add to 90? It sure does. So my second rule is A plus B equals 90. And what that means is the acute angles of a right triangle add to 90. And if you remember the word for that, it's complementary. So these are your two rules. And not only is this a very commonly asked regions question, pretty much every single regions asks a question on one of these two rules. It's also a very commonly asked SAT question. So to help you remember this, we have our song. So let me get our song queued up. All right, I don't wanna show you anything that I want you to see there. So acute angles of a right triangle, enjoy. I think we have to hear that again. Better the second time, right? So, sine A equals cosine B. That means that in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to the cosine of the other. Now, understand it's not going to always be A and B. It's going to be whatever the acute angles are. Also understand that uh, same thing here, A and B are the acute angles. It doesn't have to be the letters A and B. It often is, but it doesn't have to be. Number one in scaling triangle ABC, blah, 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 which equation is always true. So A and B are the acute angles. So sine A equals cosine B. That's it. 
Try number two on your own. The answer is sine A equals cosine B. Now, we said that A and B, we said that the acute angles add to 90, which means the acute angles are complementary. So if this is saying that angle Y is a complement of angle Z, that means that Y and Z are the acute angles of a right triangle. Sine A equals cosine B. Now, again, it's not going to always be the letters A and B. It's going to be whatever the acute angles are, in this case, Y and Z. So it's not tan. It's not cos and cos. It is Y and Z. It's not choice 2 because choice 2 says cosine X. No, X is not the acute angle. X is the right angle. This rule applies to the two acute angles. In right triangle X, Y, Z, blah, 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 sine X and cosine Z. So I know that sine A equals cosine B. Since it says that sine A equals this, and cosine or, or sine x equals this and cosine of z equals this and i know that sine a is equal to cosine of b then i set 2x plus 5 equal to 4x plus 1. since sine a equals cosine of b if sine a is 2x plus 5 and cosine of b is 4x plus 1 i know they have to be the same so i set them equal from here, we solve, we do the algebra. And it's asking for the value of x. Now it says to explain your answer. The short explanation is sine A equals cosine B. The long explanation is what sine A equals cosine B represents, and that is in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to the cosine of the other acute angle. That's what sine A equals cosine B means. On the region, sine A equals cosine B is probably going to be good enough. But what I'd really like to see is what it means, which is in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to the cosine of the other. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Um, you know what I want you to do? I want you to try 7 and 8 on your own right now. Uh, so please pause, try 7 and 8 on your own, and then I'm going to go over them. Oh, all right. So at this point, you should have created seven. You should have completed seven and eight on your own. I forgot that I told you to pause it. I know that sine A equals cosine B. They're equal. So if sine A increases, then cosine of B increases because they're the same. So the answer, the short answer, cosine B increases. because sine A equals cosine B, and the long answer is cosine B increases 
because in a right triangle, the sine of one acute angle is equal to the cosine of the other acute angle. Sine A equals cosine B, so whatever one does, the other. Number eight, uh, I ask you to try this on your own. If cosine B equals 5 over 13, then what else equals 5 over 13? Well, I know that sine A equals cosine B. So there it is. That's it. These are very simple questions as long as you understand that concept. All right. Um, now, number nine is a little different. I see sine A equals cosine B. Does it say sine A equals 2x? Do we see sine A equals 2x? Do we see cosine B equals x plus 15? Does it say that? No. 2x is not sine A. 2x is A. x plus 15 is not cosine of B. It's B. So sine A equals cosine of B is one rule. The other rule deals with A and B, and A plus B equals 90. So this problem, since it's giving me A and B, not sine A and cosine of B, A and B add to 90. I hope you see the difference here. It does not say that sine A equals and cosine B equals. For the example we did a few minutes ago, for this one, it said sine x equals cosine z equals, and I know that sine a is equal to cosine of b, or in this case, sine x is equal to cosine of z, so I set them equal. It doesn't say that here. It's not giving me sine a. It doesn't say sine a equals 2x. It says sine 2x equals cosine x plus 15, which makes the a 2x and the b x plus 15. And the rule for a plus b is the add to 90. So we do the algebra. Again, this is not an algebra course, so I'm going to kind of go through the seventh grade algebra relatively quickly. I get x is 25. It's asking for the value of x. That's my answer. Number 10. I see. Well, I see cosine A equals sine B. It's the same thing. So, is X plus 8A or cosine A? X plus 8 is A. 2X plus 7 is B. And A plus B equals 90. So, I'm going to add X plus 8 plus 2x plus 7 to equal 90. If they give me a and b, a plus b equals 90. If it gives me sine a and cosine of b, then they're equal. Two separate rules. And it's very common for students to get confused between them. I feel like this isn't the same equation that we just did. That's weird. Uh, whatever. Again, I'm not so much concerned about the algebra as I am the geometry and setting it up. X equals 25. It's asking for the value of X. You're good. I want you to try number 11 on your own right now. Please pause, complete number 11, and then unpause. Okay, now that you tried 11 on your own, Sine A equals cosine B. 
So the question you have to ask is x minus 47a or sine a or cosine a? A, B, A plus B equals 90. So I add them to equal 90. I do the algebra. I get um, 37, I think. That yeah, sounds right. And that's it. All right, what else do I got for you here? Sine A equals cosine B. A plus B equals 90. Which expression is always equivalent to? Well, sine X, sine A equals cosine of B. And A plus B equals 90. So basically what this is saying is that X plus B equals 90. What we're finding here is what we call the complement. The complement is what do I have to add to a value to get 90? And to find that, I subtract that value from 90. So the complement of x is 90 minus x. So let me just, let's just kind of go over that for a moment. So let's say I have 20 and I want to find the complement. The complement of, of 20 means what do I have to add to 20 to get 90? I would do 90 minus 20, which is 70. So 20 and 70 are complements of each other. If I had 40 and I wanted to know what the complement was, I wanted to know what added to 90, I would do 90 minus 40, which is 50. If my angle is x and I want to know what the complement is, Again, I subtract from 90, and 90 minus x is 90 minus x. So basically, whenever you see 90 minus x, this means the complement of x. And since a and b add to 90, I know that sine x equals cosine of 90 minus x because... A plus B equals 90. So the main thing to know when you see 90 minus X, that is the complement of X. That means that this and X add to 90. 14 is really the same thing that we just talked about. So why don't you try and put it in words? So why don't you pause it, try and put it in words in your own, and then unpause it and I'll go over it. Okay, explain why cosine x equals sine 90 minus x. Well, sine a equals cosine b. a plus b equals 90. I mean, what's my explanation? I know that the sine of one acute angle of a right triangle is equal to the cosine of the other and then i can say that the two acute angles of a right triangle add to 90. and that's it you're just basically writing the song and what the song means the rest of the problems are a mix of the two rules Again, you need to know when to use sine A equals cosine B and A plus B equals 90. So I don't want to go over too many of these for you. But let's just take a quick peek at 16 and 17. In 16, I see sine A equals cosine B. 
So the question is, the 3x plus 2 and the 4x minus 10. Is sine A equal to 3x plus 2? Or is A equal to 3x plus 2? Is it A or is it sine A? The answer is A. This is B. So because I'm dealing with A and B, I'm using A plus B equals 90. Whereas in number 17, it says sine S equals and cosine R equals. So this is not S. This is sine S because it says it's sine S. This is not R. It's cosine R because it says it's cosine R. And sine S equals cosine R. Or, of course, sine A equals cosine B. That's the difference. This one, you're going to add them to 90 because 3x plus 2 is A. It doesn't say sine A equals 3x plus 2. It just says sine of 3x plus 2, which makes 3x plus 2 A and 4x minus 10 B. So we're using the A plus B rule. This one physically says that sine of the angle equals 3x plus 2. Cosine equals, so I set the new Again, the end of this packet is just a smattering of the two mixed together. So you have to determine which one you're using. The two rules when we're dealing with the acute angles of a right triangle. Sine A equals cosine B. A plus B equals 90. Sine A equals cosine B means that in a right triangle, the sine of one of the acute angles is equal to the cosine of the other. It does not, it's not going to always be the letters A and B, but it always has to be the acute angles. And the acute angles, forgetting about sine and cosine, the acute angles have to always add to 90. The acute angles of a right triangle add to 90. They're complementary. Again, this is a very important lesson. It's asked on every geometry region. It's also a very commonly asked SAT question. So please take it seriously. Complete your classwork and homework, which is to finish this. And have a great day.